Looking for the best hand crank generator? A hand crank generator can really be life-saving when hiking in the wild and need to charge your phone or other devices. In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top hand crank generators and we rated them according to functionality, reliability, and value for money. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Price information and all radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Eaton American Red Cross Crank Powered Clip Ray Eaton American Red Cross Cross crank powered clip ray is a compact and straightforward hand crank device. All that's included in this small package is the hand crank, a flashlight, and a USB port for charging other devices. Most of the body of this slim device is occupied by the hand crank mechanism. At its top, you'll find a plastic carabiner to make carrying it easy. The carabiner is made of plastic and is flimsy. I wouldn't recommend depending on this carabiner. An LED flashlight finds its place at the other end. The flashlight has three LEDs and they are bright and provide a strong beam of light. For ideal operation, the Eaton clip ray should have a handle turning speed between one to two times per second. Turning the handle crank for about two minutes generates enough power to keep the LED flashlight running for about 10 minutes. In practical use, the flashlight is at its brightest best while the crank is actively turning. There is a noticeable drop in brightness once you stop moving the crank. Its brightness continues to go down after that. After a few minutes, its use as a flashlight is compromised, even if some light is visible. I'd say that while it is a good crank power flashlight, expect best results when you're moving the crank rather than depending on the generated power. Although there is some power storage here that allows the juice to flow even after the crank stops, the Eaton clip ray doesn't include a conventional battery. Perhaps this was a way to keep the cost low. The clip ray is remarkably cheap. However, the lack of a battery does bite. There's only so much power you can generate by turning the crank. Some units of Eaton clip ray have a micro USB port near the output USB port. Generally, this would imply the presence of a charging option for the battery. Unfortunately, the micro USB port appears to be redundant. It does nothing. Well, it occasionally lights up the tiny LED on the clip ray's body, but doesn't seem to have any discernible practical function. Thankfully, the other USB port works and can be used for powering devices. The output from the clip ray appears to be limited to 5 volts and 0.5 amps. This is a safe level for charging modern gadgets like mobile phones, but it's a very limited option. For most modern phones, you'll likely find yourself struggling and turning the crank for several minutes before the charging moves by even a single percentage point. A phone must have some battery before it can charge using the clip ray. This hand crank device simply doesn't produce enough power to start or power up a gadget that has shut down on account of its battery dying. As a budget hand crank, Eaton clip ray is fairly acceptable. It works best as a flashlight, so don't expect it to contribute much towards charging modern devices like smartphones. However, some smaller devices with low power requirements, like USB fans, could work. Just remember, you'll have to keep moving the hand crank to keep any connected device powered. Number 2. Zeus Dynamo Powerhouse 60 Watt Hand Crank Fast Charger Zeus Dynamo Powerhouse Hand Crank Fast Charger is a bit bigger, bulkier, and more expensive than the other options on our list, yet its power generating chops make this generator one of our top choices. Most modern hand crank products are compact. The size makes it more convenient to carry them around, but that convenience comes at the cost of power. This means you'll be turning the crank for a while before any noticeable power is generated, and even that would necessarily be limited. As we know, hand cranking is not a very efficient way of generating power. It is the way to generate power when you are off-grid or need some juice in an emergency, and a big hand crank like the Zeus Dynamo Powerhouse is going to be more useful than the compact options. Zeus Dynamo Powerhouse Watt Hand Crank Fast Charger is a robust device packed in a housing made of aluminum and steel. The package also includes steel clamps and non-slip silicone mounting pad to secure the generator in place while you turn the crank. There are two power outputs on the powerhouse, a USB-C and one USB-A. Both these outlets can handle fast charging compatibility. For the Type-A, this means a maximum of 18 watts, while the C can go all the way to 45 watts. The USB-C output has USB-PD compatibility. This means it checks with the device if it can handle higher power and voltage. Once the power negotiation is complete, devices with fast charging capability will receive higher voltage and power. The voltage can go from 5 to 20 volts, while the current is rated at 0.5 to 3 amps. Similarly, with the USB-A connector, 5 to 12 volt and 0.5 to 3 amps. It is compatible with Samsung and Apple device requirements and should work with pretty much all mobile gadgets. The total rated power output is 63 watts, 45 plus 18 watts, which allows both ports to work and charge two devices simultaneously. According to the manufacturer, three minutes of cranking the powerhouse should be enough to bring a dead smartphone back to life, with enough charge to make a five-minute phone call. This puts it ahead of much of its competition. Most small hand cranks cannot charge a dead smartphone. It must have at least some battery for the phone to receive charge. Keeping this limitation and other hand cranks in mind, the Zeus Dynamo Powerhouse feels more like a useful option for preppers or general emergencies. Its charging capabilities aren't limited to smartphones and similar devices.
devices. However, they are limited to devices that receive power through USB-C or USB-A connectors. Overall, the powerhouse is a sturdy and reliable hand crank power generator. Apart from generating power, it also includes useful technologies like USB PD and fast charging to ensure the best use and safety of connected devices. Its robust build should allow this generator to last for a long time. Number one, Huaban Hand Crank Generator. Huaban Hand Crank Generator is our top choice here. It's a dependable hand crank generator with the capability of working with modern gadgets thanks to its innovative use of the generator dynamo and the regulator. The device is available as two blocks, both of which house major components. Its first block is the generator. This block houses the hand crank and work to generate the power. The crank is made of metal and securely attached to the generator. It is possible to slightly extend the crank, thus making it easier to turn. At the side, opposite the crank, the generator has a buckle and strap attached. Though seemingly insignificant, the buckle is a very useful addition here. You can use it to hold or tie the generator steadily in place, or better yet, run the strap around something sturdy like a tree. A 12 millimeter ovation socket connects the generator to the next block, which is the regulator. This block has markings for voltage on it and a knob to select your desired output voltage. A small red lead makes it known when the regulator gets power. The options for output voltage vary all the way down from 3 volts to 28 volts. That's quite something and opens up a lot of possibilities. An output cable comes out of the regulator and divides into three plugs to accommodate 5.5 millimeter plug, USB 2.0, and mini USB connections. The kit also includes alligator clips should you want greater variety and options. Huaban Hand Crank Generator has some impressive numbers to brag about. Its rated maximum power is 30 watts. Output current goes from 0 to 3 amps, and the output voltage is from 0 to 28 volts. The hand crank generates enough power to charge a modern smartphone. Occasionally, Apple devices might see trouble and reject charging from this power source. In any case, the smarter move is to use this crank generator to charge something like a power bank. It is much easier to use a power bank to charge your smartphones and other expensive devices. Note that though the device is powerful, don't expect to fully charge your gadgets or power banks. Modern devices have good power density, and as they charge, you'll notice more resistance in turning the crank. Eventually, it will be tough to turn the crank, unless you put in a lot of effort. One option would be to turn the crank for a few minutes until it has a decent charge. Also, it's worth noting that if you feel the crank getting lighter, the device may have stopped charging. Your physical interaction with the crank gives you a good idea of the charge of the target device. So what do you think? Which of these is the best hand crank generator for you? Or do you think another hand crank is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.